All right, guys, we are here at the Southern Fried Game Room Expo, and we're here with Ted, who has a very unique machine, and I, I know you guys are excited to see this, and I'll just let him introduce himself and talk about his machine that he created. Hi, how you guys doing? So this is the last Starfighter from the 1983 movie. Um, it's a completely fan-made project. The original software is written by a guy named Doc from Rogue Synapsis. He's also the one who got the original audio from the movie for Atari, Atari Games, that plays in the game. Okay. And he got permission from the studio to use it. That's why it's freeware. Anybody can download the software and play it. But it, it's a little difficult to get the dual joysticks working. This has been a, pretty much a five-year labor of love. Um, and it's kind of like a dream come true. Yeah. So um, really, why this game though? Why this movie or theme? Uh, I'm sure something must have triggered it. Just growing up, you're a fan of the movie. What, tell us about that. So I'm from a small farming town in Western Illinois. And it's very similar to that trailer park that Alex grew up in, where, where I was, nothing but corn as far as the eye could see, and nothing to do. So. When I saw the movie and you know he managed to get away, I wanted to do the same thing in my life. There's a quote from the movie that the old guy who owns the convenience store that the game's at, when your chance comes along in life, you grab on with both hands and hold on tight. Right. And that's how I've kind of tried to live my life. Awesome. Now, you got to meet a pretty special person at this conference, and they got to play your game. Who, do, who was this uh, celebrity person that you got to meet? So his name is Lance Guest, and he played Alex Rogan in The Last Starfighter. And the best thing about that meeting was when he walked up to this machine, you saw him smile from the inside out. It was like how I looked at him when I was a kid. Sure. And he was just overwhelmed and thrilled to see this here and get a chance to play it. I, I bet that made all the sweat equity and work that went into to this probably worth it, huh? How many hours do you think you got into this machine? I would say, oh, about 100, 150 hours in it. Yeah. yeah. So um, the software, where you had a person that designed that, because in the game, it wasn't, in the movie, it wasn't even a real game, right? Correct, yeah. What it was, and I just found this out from him today, was uh, they had a 25-inch monitor in the game, and they had it hooked up to a, a VCR. So they just looped the tape of the uh, computer graphics for the image of the game while he sat there and moved the sticks. So that's how they did it for the movie. Uh, the guy who wrote the software, uh, the website is called Rogue Synapse, and I don't take any credit for that. This is all his hard work and his friends, and they did an incredible job. Okay, so you mostly built the cabinet and got it to play, you yep. said, Part of the trick was to get the dual joysticks working, and I and we do our we do a uh, podcast and a show on arcade repair, so we understand your pain there. So uh, we just want to congratulate you on a job well done, and I wanted to uh, give you an opportunity just to show it off and uh, brag on the work that you did. Uh, so anyway, thank you for coming to the festival and bringing this, and glad you got to meet one of your childhood heroes. I think it's an awesome story. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, thank you guys. Again, if you're in the area, you still got time to come on out, come on and join us. Thank you.